Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Solana. Yeah, on the Solana chart, we've now seen that pullback into the support region. Um, again, we have both, well, we have two structures. They are overall both bullish. These two structures to the, um, well, that allow for a corrective pullback here. Again, they are both bullish, but the green one is more directly bullish than the yellow one, which allows for a larger wave four correction. How can we distinguish between the two? It is the $227 level. As explained in the last updates, should we get a break below 227, then the green count, which allows for the interpretation of a one two setup will become far less likely and it will be invalidated with a break below the 26th of November low at $222. This is a possible one two setup. I don't find it a high quality one. And the reason is we're already so extended. This is a one two setup that is valid. I mean, if you want to play it, you have a risk level here, but it's a different quality than for example, those which were deep in support and haven't moved much since the, um, the basically August low. Like we had FET in the last few days. Uh, Tau was in a longer correction. I'm skeptical about this one. This is uh, on the Bitcoin chart visible as well as a one two setup. And it's a reasonable one. But I want to share with you that I wouldn't be surprised if support breaks. But it's still, you know, if it works out, it can send us possibly quite directly to $300. Because this would be another one two, then a third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave in another upside extension we can track. So therefore I told you, okay, we have our main support region with key support levels at $196.77. For this way for this would be one of the ideal targets, then $179 and $163. Um, even though that would be quite deep again for this way for, I don't necessarily expect this level to be tested, but testing that orange box in the middle somewhere would be reasonable, a reasonable expectation this fourth wave. This is probably going to happen if Bitcoin is also in the larger fourth wave. Solana and Bitcoin have both been moving together quite nicely. And also for the Bitcoin chart, I am tracking this potential one two setup to the upside. On the Bitcoin chart, it's colored in blue. Here on the Solana chart, colored in green. And if I zoom into the uh, structure and uh, we're already on the 30 minute chart anyway, if I zoom in, then we can already identify here a possible A B maybe, yeah, and then C, and the C wave is a one, two, three, four. We might get one more low, possibly targeting 231 or 227. But we're now, yeah, I mean, the pullback looks correct if I have to say that. Um, the move up is a questionable five wave move. I explained that in the last videos. It is possible to interpret this as five waves one, two, three, four, five. But the wave four was very deep. So it's kind of unreliable because of that. But the overall context doesn't give me any impulsive development to the downside yet, which is why I definitely want to keep the door to uh, rising prices open. It takes a break above the green wave one high at $247. Yeah, $247. And by the way, I will remove the resistance area. We don't need it anymore um, to really suggest we're moving higher. I mean, could it could this still be like the yellow count? Yes. But then it's probably morphed into a larger ABC structure, which is also possible, right? So unfortunately, we're dealing with the messiness of corrective structures here, but we can keep it very simple. We can say that as long as we're holding 227.33, we're watching for higher and initially for a reaction to this micro support region. I think it's fairly likely. And looking at the bigger picture, the larger time frame on the Solana chart, you look at Solana long term, then you can see that we are still in a price channel, so still bullish. Um, any test of this larger support area here on the daily chart could lead to a bounce or even a rally. Again, it shows you the key support levels that I mentioned. Only a break below $163 would require a larger reinterpretation of the chart, but overall, I think still higher. The only question is how deep is the pullback going to be? that the market offers. And we, if we're extending higher more directly, I would treat this as an extension in a still unfolding third wave. That's the update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.